If you're on planet Earth and you're paying attention to the news, you'll know cryptocurrency has really taken off in the last few years. More and more people are issuing traditional stocks to purchase Ethereum, Bitcoin, and other types of cryptocurrencies. Today, there are plenty of cryptocurrencies to choose from, and for beginners, the array of selection could be overwhelming. Security is always a big issue because many people using cryptocurrencies have been hacked in the past, so you need to select one that doesn't have subpar security features. Uniswap is one of the most popular crypto exchange systems in the world today, but if you don't want to use it, do you have alternatives? The answer is yes, and in this video, we're going to talk about those alternatives. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos that we post. Alright, let's go. Before we talk about the alternatives, let's talk about Uniswap and how it works. Uniswap is a leading decentralized crypto exchange that runs on the Ethereum blockchain. It allows traders to exchange tokens without having to trust anyone with their funds. At the time, anyone can lend their crypto to special reserves called liquidity pools for a fee. Uniswap has grown with the DeFi or decentralized finance industry. It has become the leading exchange on Ethereum's network and various investors have staked more than a billion dollars in cryptocurrency on the platform. The platform transacts north of a billion dollars on a daily basis in cryptocurrency. Its token, ERC20 token, which means that it uses blockchains to process transactions, instead of having its own network. So, what are better alternatives to Uniswap? Let's start with Binance. Binance is an exchange that provides a platform for different trading cryptocurrencies including Litecoin, Ethereum, and Binance Coin. As of April 2021, it is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world in terms of trading volume. It was founded by Changepeng Zhao, a developer who also created other high-frequency trading software. The company was initially based in China but later moved out of the country due to the increasing regulation of cryptocurrency. Primarily known for crypto to crypto trading or trading between two cryptocurrency pairs, the company's name is a combination of the words binary and finance. Its services were launched in 2017 and claimed to offer high standards of security and safety. Similar to a standard exchange, Binance offers services around the listing, fundraising, trading, and delisting or withdrawal of cryptocurrencies. Binance supports three types of trade orders, namely limit, market, market and stop limit orders. The company also offers an additional five types of orders for crypto derivatives that focus more on future contracts. The company has a blockchain technology incubator, Binance Labs, which is mainly for nurturing promising pre-ICO stage projects. But what is a crypto exchange platform? What does it do? Before we continue talking about the best alternatives to Uniswap, let's understand what a crypto exchange is. The crypto exchange is also known as a digital currency exchange. It allows customers to trade cryptocurrencies or digital currencies for other assets, such as digital currencies and conventional flat money. Payments may be done through credit cards, wire transfers, and other forms of payment. Next on the list is Kraken. Kraken is based in the United States and was established in 2011. Aside from providing cryptocurrency trading, it's also a bank. As of 2020, it was available to residents of 176 countries and 48 US states. It also lists 40 cryptocurrencies for trade. CoinMarketCap ranks Kraken the fourth largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world as of January 2021. In July 2013, Kraken joined other players in Bitcoin in the up-and-coming payments and digital currency industry to form the Committee for the Establishment of the Digital Asset Transfer Authority, or DATA. Kraken holds the distinction of being one of the only two crypto exchanges to be legally chartered as banks in the United States. The other crypto exchange is Avanti Financial Group. The company is considering going public in 2022 through a direct listing. This is after they set record trading volumes and new clients event amidst the surge in Bitcoin prices. The next crypto exchange is one of the most popular, eToro. eToro was established in 2007 and is based in the UK. eToro has more than 17 million users in more than 100 countries worldwide. When the company first started, it was a graphic intensive Forex platform. Non-US traders can trade additional asset classes such as stocks and contracts for difference. In 2009, eToro launched its cutting-edge and intuitive trading platform that enables anyone, anywhere to trade financial assets online. WebTrader also includes professional tools for beginners.
beginners and advanced traders. In 2013, alongside currencies, commodities, and other assets, eToro also added a wide selection of stocks which enabled traders to further diversify their portfolios. After pioneering Bitcoin trading in 2013, eToro expanded its cryptocurrency offering and allowed clients to trade as well as invest in Litecoin, XRP, Ethereum, and other well-known cryptocurrencies. In July 2018, eToro began its first phase in servicing the U.S. market, bringing clients from the U.S. Another popular alternative is Coinbase. Established in 2012, Coinbase is a fully regulated and licensed cryptocurrency exchange supporting all states in the U.S. except Hawaii. As of March 2021, it's the largest cryptocurrency in the United States by trading volume. Coinbase went public on the 24th of April 2021 on the Nasdaq exchange via a direct listing. Initially, the company only allowed for Bitcoin trading, but immediately added cryptocurrencies suitable for its decentralized criteria. The company expanded its list to include CRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Cash, Litecoin, and many others. Many consider Coinbase to be one of the easiest to use. Signing up is easy and purchasing cryptocurrencies can be done within minutes too. It also comes with a learning program which pays users cryptocurrencies to learn more about how it works. It also ranks as the highest when it comes to liquidity exchanges which serves as protection for investors against serious price slipping. Coinbase has two different versions, the basic one and the pro version. Coinbase Pro used to be called GDAX and it's a separate cryptocurrency exchange app that's for more professional and experienced investors. Pro is more restricted compared to regular Coinbase, so it's only available in 42 countries due to local laws. CoinMama is also something you can look into. Considered by many as the best Bitcoin brokerage e-service today, CoinMama isn't exactly a cryptocurrency exchange but a crypto brokerage service. This means that people buy Bitcoins directly from them instead of from other users. This makes transactions safe and fast. However, the fees are quite steep at 2.9% to 3.9%. The company was established in 2013 and the operations in the US are run by Newbit Ventures LLC. The company is regulated by FinCEN and mostly caters to a European clientele. Users can purchase 10 different coins through the platform and they have an exchange rate that's pretty competitive. One of the best things about CoinMama is that their customer service is excellent and users can attest to that. Their system mostly favors European users and it's not very ideal for US traders. The only drawback is that they have no mobile version which they can really make transactions very easy. Bittrex Global is something you need to look into. Bittrex holds the distinction of not having been hacked, ever. Established in 2013 in Seattle by security experts who used to work at BlackBerry and Microsoft, if security is your main concern, this is the platform that you should go with. People don't have worries with them because they have never had a breach and they have never lost anyone's money, which is something very rare in the world of trading platform. There's a flat trading fee of 0.25%, which is quite cheap. Bittrex is available worldwide though, and there are some more advanced features that are not available in all locations. One thing that may be a deal breaker for some is the fact that users can only do deposits in US dollars and withdrawals via wire transfer. Its advantages far outweigh the disadvantages because nothing offers better security than Bittrex. 80% to 90% of user funds are also fully insured, so you don't have to worry in case there is a breach, which again, never happened with Bittrex. Lastly, there's Gemini. Established in 2015 by twins who sued Mark Zuckerberg for allegedly stealing the idea for Facebook, Gemini is based in New York and is one of the most well-respected cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. Even though there are plenty of other options today, its low fees and strict trading security ensures it remains on top. Gemini specializes in Ether and Bitcoin, and it's easy to use for new as well as experienced traders. However, it's a requirement for those who want to use the platform to share their personal data and ID upon sign up. So if you're someone who would rather keep your identity a secret, this is not the platform for you. What's the best way to choose a crypto exchange platform? One of the first things you need to look at is security. A fancy looking app and graphics aren't going to to protect you from prying eyes. Look for big names that have proven themselves trusted and secure over time. Check user reviews, 2FA and ID verification. You need to also look for a platform that allows you to trade more obscure coins such as Bakery Token and Dogcoin. Truthfully, Binance is the bestest category because 
it has approximately 200 coins in use. Also check the countries and states covered by the platform. Find one that you can legally use in your country because regulations and laws differ from one place to another. Experts say that it's best to find a platform that is based in your country of residence. Lastly, you need to check at how you can make deposits in your account, as well as withdrawals. Payment methods vary from one platform to another depending on the business model and the local regulations. The most common payment methods are cash, PayPal, wire transfers, credit cards, and debit cards. Figure out which one is best for you and find a platform that supports it. Which trading platform do you like most? Will you be investing in cryptocurrency anytime soon? Let us know in the comment section. Stay safe and we'll see you around.